As the Omicron variant continues to sweep across the country, infections, hospitalizations, and deaths all on the rise. Caseloads even soaring past the peak from Delta. The CDC estimating Omicron now accounts for more than 70% of new cases. Dr. Anthony Fauci telling GMA things are likely to get worse before they get better. We don't expect things are going to turn around in a few days to a week. It likely will take much longer than that, but that's unpredictable. Testing lines in state after state, stretching blocks over the holidays with wait times lasting hours. President Biden says the government's working to make tests more widely available. I, I know the lines have gotten very long in some states. That's why I ordered FEMA to set up pop-up sites in places with high demand to shorten the wait. In Florida, daily infection totals breaking records. This Orlando testing site reaching capacity for nine straight days heading into Christmas. We just got back from a plane and everybody was coughing, so we really want to see if we ha have COVID or not. And in New York State, the health department warning pediatric hospitalizations have increased fivefold. And that is why, you know, it's so important for those that are eligible and around, especially our children under five who are yet to, to get the vaccine, to be vaccinated, to really cocoon them, protect them, especially as we're entering the surge. A new vaccine mandate going into effect in New York City. Private sector workers now required to get their shots, while both teens and adults will have to have two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine to be able to dine indoors. COVID is bad for humans. It's bad for our health, but it's also bad for business. And Omicron is also creating staff shortages. 19% of New York City EMS workers called out sick on Christmas. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, Washington.